What's going on, y'all? We are the Cinefanatics. My name is Robert Adams. And all my technology is failing right as we're starting. It's fantastic. <laughs> well, that seems to be on brand, <laughs> I guess. So, so the, my headphones went out. The mouse wasn't working. The keyboard wasn't working. Couldn't do nothing. Uh, I'm Chris Adams. <laughs> oh, yeah. We forgot we introduced you. Uh, yeah. So this is the Schmodown replay uh, where we replay Schmodown episodes uh, with this level of enthusiasm already off the bat. Tonight it is going to be Mark Riley versus Video Drew. Uh, as always, typically we will have a guest with us and tonight we do have the one, the only the cannot be duplicated, replicated, and you don't want to the Video Drew. What's going on Video Hi. Drew? Hi, I'm really excited. I'm really excited to watch this match. Really, really excited. Awesome. I, I heard that there's a thing now where where you haven't watched the match. But, yes. but I but I've I've been I've seen the match because I was there. Cool. But it, yeah. But, you, we're, but I won't we're say in the dark. spoilers. So no spoilers, but very excited to watch this. Who are you? We are the Cine Fanatics. Uh, you might remember me. Apparently, some weird alternative version of myself appeared on your in in the dark sure. show. Uh, was like kind of every yeah, every Sunday on the video drew YouTube channel, which is exactly. linked down below. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, I, I, I believe there was some makeup involved. I was asleep the whole time, so I have no idea what that is, but uh, yeah, so uh, yeah, so Drew, what uh, video drew? Sorry, welcome mm -hmm. to the show. Uh, Hi. how do you how do you feel going into this match right off the top? Well, um really really excited to to be there and to to see mr christian again and to ask him about uh, a couple questions i had regarding tom uh and his whereabouts as well as uh just like some ma minor like issues i've been seeing in the league lately uh some some character work that seems to be like a little bit upsetting people's uh being a little bit creepy disturbing uh behavior going around the schmodown so really was there to sort of bring it back a notch bring this about to what schmodown's always been about which is gameplay and not being scared of anybody. So it was really exciting to get an opportunity to do that. But again, like no spoilers, because I know the end, but you don't. Yeah, so it, it would always be nice if we knew if we knew the ending of things and therefore we were better prepared. But yeah, at this point, tenet, tenet, the end. Tenet, tenet. <laughs> uh, so going into this, yes, like you said, uh, we have not watched this match. We don't know. Any of y'all here in the chat, uh, first of all, if y'all have any questions, feel free to drop questions in the chat. There is the also the stream labs that's up there above his head. Uh, you can submit questions that way. You can also submit them through the super chat. Um, also, again, no spoilers. If you know how this one turns out, please do not spoil it in the comments. Although, if you do feel like spoiling it, once again, there is the streamlabs.com slash cinefanatics. Feel free to spoil at that location all you want, as long as it's followed by some numbers. I feel like they, they made this head of this one, like like they made the head way more, and I like it. It's it's like perfectly calibrated for being for being what it's supposed to be. It's like you're actually so, holding a baby. Yeah. You've got, you've, you've got a baby Yodi? Or, uh, or yeah, this, you... this is a baby version of, of my opponent in this match, who, again, I, I have already played because this happened in the past. Um, and I'm just really I'm really excited to to be watching this all over again with fresh new eyes or regular eyes, but, like, also somebody else's. Awesome. <laughs> Whose eyes? This is live? This, this is live. Great. Oh, yeah, we're live. Yes. Wonderful. She, she's watching this with our eyes? All, all six of them? I didn't wait. No. I've got a couple Eight more friends for today. I have, a, I have somebody who was in the match, uh, but again, no spoilers. Um, and a couple other a couple other friends that will be making an appearance today because uh, you know, gotta get those gotta get those appearances in. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Camera turns on, you need to be have every chance and opportunity to be in front of it. Camera's on? Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, it looks like your camera's on. We can see okay. you. Wonderful. That's fantastic. <laughs> uh, by the way, that looks like you're you're hanging out the this I guess the same hotel that Barbarian is at because yeah. like the same kind uh -huh. of couch and green curtain that Barbarian uh, had. Is, is this a Barbarian? Is this a couch? Because this is actually uh, Rachel Cushing's couch. Real talk. This is this is Cushing's couch. I wasn't sure if this was going to be in Barbarian's match because this couch has got swapped swapped out at a certain point, 
And now most of my stuff is actually Rachel Cushing stuff that she previously owned that now I know. True fact. So, so that's Cushing's cushion. Yeah, that's Cushing's cushion right here. You got it. That was that was that was a great wordplay, and I love it. So much. I quit the show. I quit. Yeah. I'm done. <laughs> I mean, uh, at some point, I might I might try to uh, you know use this, this backdrop for something, but I don't know. I feel like it might not it might not match very well with what what we got going on over here, but we'll see. Guys, oh, y'all have seen the peak of Cinefanatics. We have oh. we have peaked. Cushing's cushion is the peak of this channel. That's it. That's that's all we got to do here. <laughs> it's all downhill. It's all downhill from here. <laughs> asking, did my stuff arrive? Yes. Also, all my stuff arrived today from New York. So it's been it's been a big day. It's been a huge day. Wonderful. Uh, so real quick before we start this, let's go through uh, let's go through some of the yeah. Brandon is uh, bringing back some uh, some Twitter comments here. Peanut butter M and M's is that yeah is that, is that was, from a thing? There was a Twitter thread that was started by uh, someone earlier due to a I, conversation that me and him him were having last night in regards to what's the better peanut butter candy M and M's or Reese's. So Reese's Reese's pieces not Reese's don't pieces. don't just say Reese's if it's just Reese's it's absolutely we, we know. Reese's. <laughs> well, I mean Reese's just has a better peanut butter superior peanut butter technology. That's what I was saying. Yeah, I mean they just have it on lock. Uh, so Drew doesn't need to watch it. She lived it. And what's up, Lon? We got Lon hey, in the hey, chat. Hey. Is it because he's crashing here? Probably. Is, that, is, that, is, that, is that he's here? Is Lon here right now? Uh, we don't know. <laughs> yeah, no one knows. I mean, he, he's not here. Not right now, anyway. People keep asking Lon to come hang out at their house and crash at their pad. No one's asked that in video, Drew, yet. Except, I guess, technically, Eric. And he didn't ask so much as I showed up. And not so much as Pad, but his backyard and crash, not so much as live here permanently. Now. Well, we told you you could crash here, but uh, he did say that apparently. Once. Yes, that was once. Apparently, South by got canceled. And so, therefore, allegedly. <laughs> 2020 decided to 2020. All over the place. Very, yeah. very 2020 vibes. All over the place. Uh, also, at the very beginning, we got Movie Fenobi here saying, Video Drew is our almost best friend that isn't Tom or David Tennant. And she uh, is incredible. Yeah, all those yeah. things make sense to me. All those words make sense to me in that exact order. Yeah. Also, it's Adams v. Adams v. Video Drew v. Video Drew v. Oh, v. Video Drew. I need to take a breath on this. So many faces. We heart Video Drew also very much. She might have said, what? Team but something. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if that's a word we can say on this show. I, yeah, I don't know what that was. What was that a reference? I, I didn't catch that reference. But It might be something that we haven't seen. Okay. Might not exist. Yeah, I don't, I don't there, there could Check be many people living in Drew's room. Check under the couch. This I have to say that these two these two mini video Drews were both made by Heather. VB. Oh, oh. Yep. Uh, and they, well, you'll see. I, like, I can't say very much because I know the ending. And oh, it's, like, it's like being in the movie Arrival and knowing the end of the movie Arrival. Like it would just, it would just spoil everything. I knew the ending of the movie Arrival. I read the short story, but it was still well, good. I'd like to take a second and say that's very good work. Good job, VB's sculpted leather art. Yes, this is amazing. It has teeth inside. Still haven't figured out whose teeth, but there, there they are. Really good. That's inconsequential at this point. You don't need to know whose teeth. Possible deniability. I guess so. Yeah, good here. point. Good point. <laughs> Uh, let's get into let's get into this match. I know so I know us going into it. Uh, typically, we're like, okay, so who do we have winning? Uh, I know we have uh, typically Riley, who is a veteran of this. He's been playing for a very long time. He's held the belt multiple times. Uh -huh. uh, but we've also got Video Drew, who's also really good at trivia, and here uh, right now, technically, and she's also here in front of us. So we have to say good things. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> She otherwise, wants us onto her channel, so we have to say good things. Yeah, uh, uh, otherwise, <laughs> she might she might leave all, our channel. She might not allow us on her channel, and then I would have to stop doing the thumbnails. Yeah, we might not exist. I'm gonna move this over here. Okay, we're good. Uh, we're good. But yeah, the thing also is with tournaments like this, you're kind of hoping for an upset as well. That that's one of the things about sports that is really good. So going into a match like this, you really hope for that video drew over Riley upset. Yes. 
uh, which would be fantastic. fantastic. Okay. The reason we bring that up is because that's what happened to Riley last year is that it was an upset in round one against Stacy Howard. So yes. unfortunately, that's when you're talking about upsets, that was the first thing that comes to mind in tournaments. Don't forget, and don't forget, Drew won Drew and Tom won most upset last year at the awards. They they were most upset match with Time Machine. So you know, that's the award. That's the title of it. So. Drew, pick us up that. I thought y'all won that you guys were literally the most upset. <laughs> yeah, that let me, but it was a specific match. And so the upset one was oh. we, we upset before. And so we can get upset again. I don't actually remember what happened in this match, but I, I'm sure that upset feelings can happen. Oh, absolutely. At any time. Uh, so let's get into this match. Yeah, I was going to say, if we don't start, I'm upset. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Cushion's cushion all over again. Cushing's cushion. <laughs> Guys, hashtag that somewhere. Hashtag Cushing's cushion. She'll be completely confused. Wait, so <laughs> I do like her video drew. That that works for me, even though, as everyone knows, video drew is Hello only one. Everybody and welcome back to the can you, uh, it is the Might have been Skybound who did that, but can you like steal that for your channel? Of the tournament oh, maybe. I am but now we can, I can confuse people. as always by no, Mark, for, baby Karen, no spoilers, Ella. but for 15 minutes, Mark, these two just this talk is around. Going to be a very entertaining Deadpool. match, to say the least. And we have seen uh, some Chip Douglas. Upsets. Chip Douglas. This one also a big possibility because from uh, of the knowledge between cable the guy. Well, Mark, technically, it's oh man, I can't remember the the TV show Deadpool. that it's named Deadpool. after. Why does he keep dressing like, like a Newsies character and he's not from Newsies? Folks have been and the Nendez brother thing they're doing with the Stiller? Yeah. Yeah, essentially, that's what that was. Yeah, that was. It was him doing like a riff on the Nendez. Very, very funny, very relevant joke with the Nendez brothers. Somewhere. Yeah, it's really weird how they, that was just kind of like shoehorned into that movie. We're like, wait, what? <laughs> it really gives you a sense of where Ben Stiller's mind was at when directing the people back. Yeah. yeah, I mean, how the two of them already have been pulled hey, off of uh, hey, the Vernon. air on that, hey, that show that they do together. I have no idea. But um, today, they, they're always going after I like how when it comes to Vernon's magic, little well, avatar well, there is Ryan actually green. had a very interesting career. In yeah, the yes. Cool. He's a legend. I mean, he's the first color. we've ever had. It's clever. He, uh, he won oh, wait, they're going to start talking about me. They're going to start talking about me soon. You probably want to turn it up. the first. There's long. I'll go from the down. Uh, he's had some big ups and he's had some downs. Last season in the first round of the tournament, he was knocked out by Stacy Howard. You've been in that position. Stacy Howard obviously is is, is <laughs> these uh, players that can get you at any moment. Marks are it. I believe Video Drew is also that type of player. <laughs> it's um, a she has really made her name in the uh, teams division. Chris turned up a bit. She's only played in one singles match, and that was against the kid last season, but. You saw what she did in teams when she was playing with Tom. She is not she 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 is knowledgeable and and scary because she's unpredictable as far as just overall behavior. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. It, Video Drew has a kinetic energy that I don't know anyone else has ever replicated in the history of humanity. But I think that I told you, you she can't replicate it. Tell in a single format where she is just focused on her and her they knowledge have? and communicating that in a timely mm -hmm. fashion, as opposed to also having to wrangle this Tom creature mm. who knows a hell of a lot about movies, but also she Tom had to be creature. sort of the mommy, it's the Tom. daddy, the Victor Frankenstein of that Tom creature. is a friend. He's not a now creature. she doesn't have to worry about yeah. that, she can focus it's on the answers. Like mommy, Mark daddy, Riley, he's a legend, all due respect, is going to have his hands full today. Yeah, and the Fenstock Exchange really needs Riley to win here today. They know it. They have uh, they have fallen behind Swag, obviously, who has taken some big jumps here in the first round. And they need to catch up. They need to show why they everyone keeps talking about them. And the dungeon, I mean, the dungeon can, has to take that's anything not, that they can get. Like. Obviously, they have that big win by Eric Zipper with the TKO. That was massive for them. But with the loss of Kevin Smets, um, with everything that happened with Robert Parker inside of the IG tournament, Ooh, don't I mean, remind the me. dungeon is in serious trouble. I mean, they are in serious trouble. Just to try don't to get any kind of points here would be big for them. And that's what Video Drew tries to accomplish today. 
and we look at the managers here, and you're right. There's a little bit of grasping at straws so to borrow one of your I'm getting managed phrases. this year by Kaiser. I think that you're going to see that sort of desperation and manifest it's itself. It's because it's not the one who equal suspects, of which is a different team altogether. The match, but you know they're going to have their fingerprints <laughs> yeah. on every round. Could be that. You guys know who Kaiser is, right? So he's yes. Home, he's going to be as there. As someone in Spaceballs would say when they were coming to the desert, we ain't uh, Usual Suspects is my second favorite movie of all time. Because there's a lot to Right. It, here, like I love it so much. That would be a great one if someone was to do like a quiz about it. Wow, a whole Brian Singer quiz? Well, no, just usual suspects. You know, I've, I've, yeah. I've, I've, I don't think I've ever been upset like this. You know, your back is against the wall, and guess what happens when your back is against the wall? You come out swinging, and that's what real yeah. win- that's what winners do. You know, it's very difficult to Look say anything it. bad about our opponent today. I mean, two-time Schmodown champion. He's got an award named after him. I mean, what can you really say bad about Mark Super Schmuck Riley? <laughs> now, Mark Riley's not prone to uh, the upset. The You know, Stacey Howard guy. There is a bit of a history here. And Mark has a good first round. The confidence is there, and he's dangerous, and you got to get out of his way. The problem is if he gets a question or two wrong, he starts to worry about I'm it a little bit too much. Okay. Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. I was too busy uh, memorizing quit speech from the Indianapolis, you know, in Jaws, memorizing <laughs> it verbatim, just in case. Hashtag five-pointer. And it only gets worse for Riley because Video Drew is a new player. She's been dungeonified. Yeah, that's a word. Hey, everybody. That's me. Welcome back to the movie trivia showdown with Video Drew. Even with the first conversation <laughs> I had with, uh, with Video Drew, couldn't make sense out of it, but I just knew that she was absolutely interested, wanting to participate, knows her stuff. This year, Video Drew has decided to play it a little differently. She doesn't have a Tom. New Tom is nowhere to be found. And she's now a brand sponsor for Goth IHOP. By the <laughs> where I mean, by regular IHOP and just yeah. some black. She has no business playing this guy. I know she played in the Looney Bin. But I also think she might belong there. She knows oh, her wow. stuff. This she is does. not going to be an easy not, thing. Uh, Yodi is ready to play because a lot of people already have been questioning the legacy of Yodi. Yodi doesn't usually talk in the third person, so he's going to stop now. There's other characters right now that are being a little kooky, a little weird, a little, eh. Given the state of your reality right now, <laughs> you don't need another that. So this video drew is calm. This video drew is collected. <laughs> this video drew actually cares about movie trivia, I guess, question mark. Wink to audience. You say a lot of words. <laughs> words that come out that like you, you tweet a lot. It's upside down. I don't understand it. Video drew, you scare me. Okay? I, I'll say. I'm glad you're on the other side of the internet. But you don't scare me in movie trivia. But I think video drew beats me. Video drew is unassuming, right? Until video drew shows up. She starts pulling them out, and you go, whoa, 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 whoa. But there is a a part of me that really does want to shut everybody up who counts me out, because they do it so fast. The world already saw Eric Zipper, TKO the great Paul Preston. And you know what, Riley? After Drew knocks you out today, you know where you wake up? Yeah! Snowdown Retirement Home. Sorry, I got my pen. Yodi's come to play, and I'm very excited to have the world be shocked. He's going to be champion again, per the usual. See you at the end of this one. Should be a laugh fest. So no funny games, nothing weird, and this time, it's all going to look great. Oh, please tell me you're going to use the green screen. Dot, dot, dot. An amazing Yodi, Yodi for Chronic, like for real. Oh, yeah. Of course. Oh, incredible. It was the, uh, you know, the, the jabs between Kaiser and Gucci. We and also said that, that he might be so good that we might create a whole new award just for him in his honor. So in which case it would, it would be also the, to me, I think for her, because the hashtag chronic for chronic. Chronic for chronic. That'd be pretty good. It's nothing to do with weed. And, he has a right to no. feel confident. He's coming off of that big win against Janine. He has uh, he's gotten to the mountaintop twice before. Yeah, he's he's one of those that you you have won the, the, chron- the chronic so, award, and they're like, really? I get chron- no, it's just right an award. It's just an award. You get chronic? No. Where's my baggie? There's so many jokes there. 
Yeah. So many jokes. You saw him come in, Nothing really tops Cushing's cushions, though, so we might as well pack it in. Call it a day. Cushing's cushions and Chronic's chronic. Chronic's chronic. What are words, drive, even? Drive, focusing on the moment. If he can words, that, words. He's virtually unbeatable. But then you look at Video Drew, and like you said, an enigma wrapped in a mystery, wrapped in a riddle, all <laughs> come together in a very nice What song is that from? But how an enigma wrapped in a mystery, wrapped in a cliche joke. Wrapped in a Batman character name? name. But in her way is a guy oh, who really really doesn't have any... Edward Eno. Edward Eno. Well, we're going to bring in both Tom Dagnino of the Finstock Exchange and Gucci from the dungeon. I love that right. Kaiser's going a weird draft this, too. Kaiser just decided to give it up. Uh, how is video Drew preparing for this match against the legend in Yoni Riley? Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, no, it's it's Drew's match against oh it's Riley, Riley's retirement party. Well, they told me it was Drew's match. Well, I'll do it online. Okay. Wonderful. What were you saying? Who was that? Who was that? Tell me right now. Who was that? I don't have to divulge anything to you. <laughs> That's not my. Call. I don't believe that. I believe that you are pushing buttons on your phone. That's why. I'm not <laughs> pushing it. I've been button since I got in the studio. You know, a lot of people say <laughs> that the people you become enemies with first end up becoming your best friends. So right. I'm holding out for you. Maybe you'll turn a turn a corner. I love it. I love their it's dynamic. Better. What are you talking yeah. about? We got video Drew is going up against Mark Riley today, and you guys need some points. Is that accurate? Well, look, Ben and Ben, thank you for having me on backstage today. I, mean, <laughs> I didn't know you were doing a retirement party online, but I'm. I will say a few things about Mark Riley. I mean. Mark Riley and I actually have a lot in common. Um, we're both semi celebrities. Um, both of us enjoy a hearty bowl of chunky soup. I've had, I've had a lot of bowls of soup with Mark Riley over the years. Um, we both have awards named after each other. <laughs> Pretty much the only accolade that Riley has that I don't have is that Crayola introduced a new colored crayon uh, to celebrate all of his achievements on the. The World Wide Web. Fair enough. Uh, ob objection, what? your your relevance. Uh, Wait, let me go what? to the crayon. The crayon is grayer. It's just a little duller than gray. Uh, <laughs> uh, Gucci, let me go to you, and then I am going to. I loved all of that. Every bit of that. Well, I, I, I love Kaiser pushing himself to be as weird as video in drill. The factions in yeah. both the dungeon and in yours, the Finstock Exchange. When you go to he's, bed at night, and he's a fantastic done, performer, and you sacrifice the virgin goat, and you're laying no, in the over here. Kaiser, Kaiser's the best. Manager of the year award. Do you still think you have a shot a beyond pig, it? Which is like better than most people who First have zero picks are only part of the big Duran Duran cover band bassist guy to my left over here. Second, <laughs> yes, I think I do. Um, I'm looking at, like I said, you know, you start off hot, get a little cold. Other people catch up. They Hopefully, they, they exert too much energy climbing up the hill, and we take charge again. That's the way I see it. Now, last year, I wasn't, I wasn't even manager of year talk until the last two months of the season. You know, if it stopped two months before the season uh, stopped before that, then yes, it would have been Kaiser or Roxy. I'm confused on this timeline. Weird, I was at yeah, the I'm also confused about who he is. Usual, and that's what's His name is also Tom. Yes, but also like four other things. Take little dives here. You go into some <laughs> his name is every name ball player, whoever he's got, he's got a bunch of names. This one, Next thing you know, you come out of them. And you talks a lot. Right I appreciate what's that. that? About 500 this year. I'm not really what's sure. That, what's that, that, that a that. Sesame Street thing where they're like, My name is your name, my name is my name is your name, too. Riley feeling here, Tom. This is a we know, obviously, we know his legend and what he's done, what he's been able to do. There have been big moments where Mark Riley has. The limit, and there's been big moments where he has not. He's famously not been very angry good. At in the last, last season. Um, and then he had some really it's great like wins. Tom Dagnino, Bobby Gucci, 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 Gucci Jingle, what's his, uh, what's his John Jacob Jingleheimer Schmidt. Or as I call him, Daryl Todd. Uh, more confident than he is right now. Scrimmaging no, match with I don't know. every single one. He's big dog. He is so focused to play here. I'd be surprised if this goes three rounds, to be honest with you. All right. Well, Anything to say to that, Kaiser? Anything? To yeah, add? I got one more thing I'd like sure. to add. Um, oh, geez. Riley should be afraid uh, of 
what he has in store for him. This is no human being he's going up against. And this, yep. this is a woman who's been pretty much studying 20 hours a day. But as far as Gucci's concerned, I mean, you can argue that this man has the best players in the Schmodown. But you got to ask yourself this. Do any of them like him? Probably huh. not. I'm pretty sure the founding fathers <laughs> have a pending lawsuit for lost wages. Lucifer's so, drunk yeah. uncle Gucci fur. That all makes sense. Wow. Lucifer, that's pretty that's solid. I don't know. We'll, we'll, uh, we'll, 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 we'll drop you guys out. We don't have to bring yeah, him back. Time's yeah, really got weird. It's, it's part of it. All right. So with that, the managers are out, and now the competitors are about to make their way. And Mark, are you ready? I'll time juice you up. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the movie trivia schmodown. Introducing first. What? Representing the dungeon. With a well. of no wins and one defeat in Love the that part. singles division. She we need the, the, we need the no video Drew music. Drew! Get in on it. Yes. Hi, Tom. No, well, I, I well, I get it. Yeah, okay. Uh, hi, hi, video Drew. It's good to, it's good to see who who do you have with you today? Perfect. Video Drew, video Drew. I see. <laughs> um, I never miss. We are video Drew. So bad as I do right now. Um, okay. Yeah, I'm so, not sure what's happening, Christian. My my head is starting to hurt, and I believe my ears are bleeding. Oh, that's okay, Mister Tom. I got another one. Yeah, another one. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I. Fair enough. Um. All right, video <laughs> Trump, try this, but um, I know how this is going to go. Uh, how do, how are you, you are going up against Mark Yodi Riley here, who is a two-time champion. Thoughts on playing someone uh, as established as Mark going into this round? Well, thank you for asking that, Mr. Christian Commissioner. Oh. Yoda has always been the scariest of the Star Wars characters, so playing Yoda. against Yoda is scary to video Drew. But what is scared? Yay. Um. Well, it's actually it's. Is Nick, you know what? You're right. What is scared? Mark? <laughs> <laughs> Mark All right. Face. Well, uh, no, should bright and green, green, green marker, too. To, uh, to you, uh, <laughs> have you been talking a lot to the dungeon? Have you been speaking with them? Have they given you any advice going into this particular match here? The dungeon where I live? Uh, that's a physical location, Mr. Christian. I'm not sure if you understand. That's not a person. <laughs> You are she right. makes a good point. Yeah, well done. All right, well, Drew, we're going to put you in the uh, waiting room here. Good luck to you today. Yeah, you know you're playing a man? Yes. Okay, good. That's that's. Then we're on a we're on a. Hi. Hi. Okay, we're going to put her in the waiting room. Um, I don't know what's going to happen. I love everything. No, I just absolutely I love everything. We'll see. And her opponent, representing. There is there is the no hate in my heart right now. Exchange. There, there can be. There can only be room for video, Drew. Eleven wins. Seven defeats and four knockouts. He is the 2018 Ultimate Schmodown winner. I wish someone had told me that before the match. Ultimate Schmodown winner. His accolades. And the former two-time yeah. movie trivia Schmodown. He's been around the block a few times. Of the world, apparently. Mark Yodi. Going pretty good, Andres. So not not confused because it's Superman also Yoda. I know they're both aliens. There he is. Super Yoda. Super Yoda. Look, man, I Wait, I thought he was wearing like Deadpool's costume. I haven't said the the word Mark Yoda Riley a little bit, and um and you know it was dude it was six years ago like Super Deadpool years ago when you won your first tournament um in the Ultimate Schmoda and became the first champion. Is there always a bit of excitement going into tournaments? Is it, is it any, like, exhaustion? Like, how are your overall thoughts? Let somebody else have a chance. The tournaments are always so much fun. <laughs> Every time one comes around, I love to just prep, get in the headspace. It, it, it's fun. Today, I found myself waking up excited like Christmas morning, Christian. I don't know what it was. It's a, it's First a, of all, it's that's a not Yoda. Yoda. It feels I even, different. I didn't even, even try to make something like Yoda. How long ago? What's six years? All respect to, to Mark, but like that's very bad. Has that joke about me yet? Is that because six years? First off, you're not I've even green. Been... Not even and green. Cool. I did more than he did on this. I knew there was something. <laughs> I, 
know much less to, like the pointy I, ears at one point but yeah, rare, look, guys okay real real talk coming from a, a roadie yeah. from the skid row reunion <laughs> concert tour i'm okay with oh, there you go well uh Yodi, at the very, very, at the very least you could get like frank oz's hand, hand up his backside or something i mean that would be the Hey, hey, hey now. Yodi Ryan, hey now. We're about to see complete uh, different I'm doing the hand previous iterations of Mark Yodi Riley <laughs> in the I think it's stranger that he's actually drinking out of Yoda. Start running around with That's weird, right? Is he? I noticed yeah. that too. I don't know. You start to have a nice yeah, he's got a competition Yoda. between us. This guy's too tall to be Yoda. Challenge each other. That's a good point too. You start to like talk about it. That's you also a good to, point. Like hang out and it becomes a thing. His right? height is definitely a, a, a thing there. To I swear to God, he, I've, I've heard this boys. speech given by him a couple of times, and I still can't make heads or tails of what he is saying here. Means everything. So it's just like words. A lot more warm, a lot more focused. I have my Finstock. In fairness, Riley's head is also surprisingly heavy. It's more perfectly calibrated. In this league because of the way we take care of each other. And I don't know if I'm right. like more excited right, about well, that fact Mark, or Riley, that lon uh, found a way to find that moment, fact bring back, uh, yeah. exactly <laughs> he was drinking out of a yoda and Good Lord. There, yep and there is mark riley all right our competitors have entered the virtual battlefield here mark rules of round at number one plus oh thank goodness we get to have right oh here. okay i was wondering one. why your uh why your hand was keying out also you got like a green each question yeah. is one. There is no penalty for missing. Like, question. why is your hand weirdly keying out? I was trying to. I was also trying to chroma key out uh, my face, which is why I'm wearing all green makeup. But that didn't work out so well. Whatever you can, so you have handy. Maybe if they just made it, you take it off. If you can get, you get that perfectly. So all that's left is like just the eyes, like the nostrils and the mouth. That would be fantastic. I was, I was really, I spent a lot of time trying to prep for that, and I guess it didn't work out. I hope with the visual, but I still think it worked perfectly with my intro, like my intro. Lying about wanting to be normal and putting on that green dress. Yeah. Can use a JTE rule. You also each have one challenge to be used at any point throughout the three round match. You can challenge anything you'd like in the game. We'll now, video Drew is very famous for her challenges because one time she challenged and got something right, and everyone was like very pleased. Uh, and got, like a president. But uh, you can only do them once once a game. I asked Riley, are you ready? Thing. So you gotta you've got to really think about where you want to make people right. upset. Video Drew, are you ready? <laughs> oh, God. We're good. Then let's get ready to <laughs> schmow down. Round number one. Question right. number one is in the realm Time of play, boys. Uh, Here is the first one. Who plays Leo Getz in the Lethal Weapon franchise? All right. I've talked about this a lot. You... And I really, for a brief time, lived across the street from a laundromat featured in Lethal Weapon. It's true. Five. I can't four, remember if the C comes before three, the S or the S two, comes before the C. One, down, please, and we start huh? with Mark Riley. Go Pesci. Yes. And video Drew? Didn't have it. Danny. Oh, no, I did. It was Joe Pesci. No, hey, Mark Riley. Goes up Joe Pesci. Oh, Mel Gibson. <laughs> there. To our next question here, Mark. Question two. So we, I, like I think we had the gamut covered there. 90s movies. Yeah. The 1990s. And your question. For Good job, Drew. Who directed 1997's The Lost World Jurassic Park? Come on, Drew. You can do it. I still can't remember. Uh, is I... Second one, I think I did. I don't Were remember. Working at a theater at the time. Yeah. No. Okay. Uh, I, I corrected it this time. <laughs> Hey, Andres, one pens down and hey, Andres for the tenth show in a row. You can answer. Spielberg? Yes. And right. <laughs> Steven Spielberg. Just kidding. I love you, man. Two, but yeah, you can answer one. in the chat. Steven Spielberg. Spielberg. Question three is drama. Oh, got two points. Actually. Which MCU actor stars as a Los Angeles columnist oh. in the 2009's The Soloist? Oh, really? Mm hmm. Okay. Off to a start here, Mark. They're both fighting. I better forward. get at least part of this right. I better get the whole thing right, you dummy. Yeah, you gotta get the whole thing right. Three. Come on. Two. Not your question. One. Hands down, please. And Mark Riley. Robert Downey Jr. Yes. And Drew. Robert Downey Jr. She got Good old Bob Here's Downey Jr. Next question. Bob here, Downey Jr. Uh, your next category is new releases. That's what we call him in the industry. Mm hmm. 
Mm -hmm. who stars as a Chinese American woman who learns that her grandmother has cancer in The Farewell. Wait, how do you spell it? Because uh, this is an ambiguous today. Like, every That's single answer cool. has been yeah, unable for you to spell. Uh, you spell however you feel like five, spelling it. And then four, three, this is a round two. Two. It's spelled it's like awkward. Like, it's spelled like awkward. Because she's not. She's not a bottle of water. So it is Riley. Aquafina. Four, well, like three. Riley it's said, not, it's not like that. Aquafina, who has four Aquafina. points and has not missed just yeah. yet. Mark, the next question is that's really funny. Aqu Aquafina, I didn't see that. Yeah, he wrote well, the bottle of the name of the water as <laughs> Adam Gibson, a family man who is illegally cloned by accident as part of a vast conspiracy in what 2000 film? Yeah, I I, I love Arnold. Like I, you I fell do. asleep uh, watching this in the theater. Just do Matt. Why would that name would never belong to that dude? Repeat. First one. Two thousand thirty. Arnold Schwarzenegger stars as Adam Gibson, a family Aquafina man who was illegally cloned by accident as part of a vast conspiracy in what two thousand film? Adam man, I don't know. Video Drew. I think I got to guess. As one, I'm not sure what happened to that green screen, but it's fascinating to watch. Five, four, <laughs> three, two, one. Pens down, please. Pens down, Drew. And starting with Riley. The ninth year. It's incorrect. And video, Drew. Total Recall is not the answer. Also no. not the answer. Looking for the sixth the, day. The sixth, the sixth day. day. Uh, sixth day. So that's one miss by Riley and Drew right. also missed. So still one point came here. So we get to the next question. The ninth <laughs> year, the right. eighth the month, the, the comedy. twelfth week. <laughs> Sound effect. <laughs> and your question. <laughs> he said lovingly. Who stars as lifeguard Matt Brody opposite Dwayne Johnson in oh. 2017's do you want to know how to spell this? Because like, no, no, I got it. <laughs> that, that sounds like a name they'd give Schwarzenegger in an action movie. <laughs> <That's true. sighs> Why well, his name is not coming to me? Five. Oh, I, I know he's one of those that's like, wait, I see his face. Two. One pens down. Damn. Zach Efron. <sighs> yes, and Riley. That's well with a C, Zach Drew. Efron. If I had a few Correct, more, sir, yeah. and Zach Efron. If I, had a few more like a, I got I got as far as Zach. Question I got as far as seven. Zach goes. I didn't. Hey, I'm betting a high, I'm betting a perfect score in this game. Category <clears> horror <throat> thriller. Who plays Rose, who invites her boyfriend to visit her family for? Oh, the what was her name? Out. She's out. I knew it. I, you 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 waited three questions, but if we uh, ask a question about yes. Arnold, I was about Arnold's impression. That was my next door neighbor. You live next to this is not my night. Gibson? Yes, four, three, two, one. Repeat pen. the question. We asked for pens down there. Did you all the delay? So what are you doing there? Delay. We you, we're Repeat one JTE. Question. One JTE. It's a delay. Right. We, 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 right. We're having this problem, Drew. It's a delay on on any tool. I didn't, I didn't argue. I can pass that. Yeah. Uh, all right. Here it is. Uh, who plays Rose, who invites her boyfriend yeah. to visit her family for the weekend and get out? That is untrue, Nappy. Drew, each using a JTE rule here in round number yeah. one. Galagos needs a good, team. sexy wrenching. He's breaking your spoiler rules. <laughs> oh, some other rules would be broken on this uh, channel one. if we do down, that. Please, no, right. <laughs> and starting with Riley. I didn't get it. Didn't get it. All right, video Drew. She's the daughter of someone famous, Allison Williams. Yes, it is tied up now. Five. Allison Williams. The yeah. uh, JT here. And here I'm still, go. I'm really mad about Zach Last Efron, to be honest. All right, we got a barn burner, Christian, and the I gotta get, categories get, in the get, world. Get, get my head in the game. Movies drawn by <laughs> hand or on a computer. Your question. In the small town of Blythe Hollow, Massachusetts, an 11 year old boy speaks with the dead, including his late grandmother. Right. In what 2012? Film. animated now they were both animated oh uh, so wait is that tied, keep the game tied they both need to hit it what i think of is or miss it 2012 five four it's the only one i could think of that makes two, somewhat sense one pens down please pen man down, i'm done and we start a video drill. i'm done tonight but i've never seen it so i'm not sure i think it's right but book of the dead that's incorrect and riley to take the lead to have the dead 
Also incorrect. Book of Life. Looking for Paranorman. Oh, Paranorman. Uh, Paranorman. Oh, yeah. Answer yeah, yeah, yeah. And now we find Everybody ourselves tied up going out. into round number two. Mark, it's the wheel. Wait, do I get a do I get a bonus question? No. And Justin, no, the wheel can virtually. So I can ask you a bonus question. Uh, where are you? Category. I'm in my bedroom. Okay. You, you got it. Ask four questions from that. Yay! Questions worth two points. There's no penalty for missing a question. However, what movie takes place in your bedroom? In round number two. So <laughs> Not one that we can show on this channel. <laughs> the answer is no movie. The correct answer. Like <laughs> oh, that's right. <laughs> Nothing was ever filmed here. At that point, the question goes down to is that on the walking tour. Jody Riley, because <laughs> you were introduced. Maybe. I can't Maybe. wait for the day where it's just just me on a screen again and not like me plus 40, 40 other people Spider-Man. plus the number me. Whether you want to pick first or different. <laughs> All right, we're going to remove both Sorry, what? Drew and Kaiser here. 60 seconds Perfect. to talk to Robert. Perfect. Now. That's, what, that's just what I wanted. You know, technically, I can still see the video playing down below. So, I mean, yeah, we could. That's okay. There was a couple that I didn't know. There. That's, all. <laughs> that's all. Shake it off. Yeah. Shake it off. First round is never your speed. Second and close. That's what you do. You got one. You got two JT rules left. Let's do the it. You door in your home, or are you trying to make yeah, a scream right. reference? Scream okay. reference. My brother's checking real quick. Right. Okay. So, don't do a jump scare. Here. Here. Have the what wheel up. Here is the wheel and the first spin. Here it is. We we don't do jump scare video. Do a, video. Do a, when we get to this thing, why don't you we'll do a quick collective pause? Right. Collective we'll again? Quick oh, pause. Yeah. On the slice so, category. Right here. Take a look at that wheel. No. Make that real big for everyone to see. That wheel is is a is a very dangerous wheel for a lot of different reasons. You got SNL, Kate Blanchett. Yeah. So I always try to take a look at the wheel before, you know, right, right before the sh show, you get like a hot flash of the wheel. And I was trying to take stock about what would be good, what would be bad, and like what you'd want to like possibly give someone slash take yourself. It's a very difficult wheel. Like it's it's rough. Yeah. There's a cut. How many of those would I actually, I think SNL would probably be like my safest, maybe Tim Burton. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's, that would probably be, that like, probably my, my two safest ones. Reboots is like the toughest category I can imagine getting without having ever seen what that looks like as an experiment. Like re yeah. reboot remakes. That could be a really, really tough slice, or it could be like a super, super easy slice. Well, because you're also leading in like there's a possibility that they could be talking about remakes of movies like that were made in the fifties that are remakes of movies made in the thirties, in which case yeah, you might not know. You could be doing like an inception thing, you could be doing like a multiple you know, you could be doing like anything. You could be literally talking about the psycho Gus Van Sant remake, or like you know, you'd be asking so many different kinds of questions too. You could be asking about the original, you'd be asking about the remake, you could be asking who starred in the original, who starred in the mm -hmm. remake, how many remakes were there, what how many Oscars was up for the original remake, you know, like it's just there's just so much going on there, and I think uh, that's like it plays into the element of what we're looking at here. So, I just want to point that be, out. I got to be honest. Uh, there's probably a couple slices I'd be all right with, but Spinner's Choice is actually terrifying me. Yeah, Spinner's Choice. That's that's the right move. Spinner's Choice should be terrifying because the idea of getting <laughs> Spinner's Choice and not dominating on the slice that you picked out for yourself. Yeah. Like a tells everyone what you think you're best at, so people can plan against it, and B like allows for you to fail and like flop on your face, in which case you look like an idiot. So that's, that's a hard one. Yeah. I'm used to that by now. But like, if you get a parent's choice, no one's going to be happy. I don't know how you feel about this. Could be some I deep like cuts SNL, in there. but yeah, there's some deep cuts in there. I'm going to go ahead. I and love me again. some good Snow movies. Like spinning. Snow? All right. Snow movies. movies. Whatever he gets here, he's got to keep. And he's spinning. And and look, I obviously know what they put on the wheel because of my last team's match. They put Denzel Three on the wheel. Opponents lurking out there. And this looks team. like Denzel. No, 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 no. I remember the Titans. Right, Mark. All yeah, right, Mark. This is what we were looking for. Here we go. Gonna remove John Q. Said, buddy. Training day. Remove uh, that guy. Book of Eli. And now we're going to bring back video yeah. Drew. Good luck. I mean, Denzel's the hardest bring freaking guy to study for. He's got 50 there movies. She, she is. You know everything about the movies? He's got, got really good ones, too. Questions in the realm of Fences. Denzel Washington films. Are you ready? Ones. Yeah. Ready. Here you go. All right. In 1989's Glory. Civil. It yeah. takes place during which war? The Civil War. Two points. Yep. Question two. In 2016's The Magnificent Seven, who plays the villain Bartholomew Boge, B O G U E, who oh. the seven must defeat? 
Who was that? <laughs> I blame gravity. Denzel Washington, yay! He's <laughs> numero. Yay! Four, <clears throat> three, two. Let's go. Multiple choice. All yeah. Right, multiple choice. Here it is. That'll be helpful. Is it A. Alexander Skarsgård? B. Vincent Denali. Peter Skarsgård. C. Michael Madsen. Peter Skarsgård. Peter Skarsgård. I think so. Alexander Skarsgård or Peter Skarsgård. They're just trying to throw Christian off at this point. It's yeah. <laughs> and five. Honestly, when you get four, down to something like this. Three. It just, two. Hey, Alexander Skarsgård. And they just comes to knowing steel, that it's going to be the other one. The Magnificent Seven. The, only one, the other one that I might have people, guessed you know, was Madsen on that list. Uh, but must beat. Is it a, I didn't know if Donofrio was one of the good guys. B, but like, it just yeah. seemed like too much of a, a direct C, thing Peter that they were trying to fuck you or screw with you on the... um. Peter that is correct for a one point. That's a good point. Right. Yeah, I was going to say, because yeah. D'Onofrio was part of Question the seven, yeah. Number three. That's a good who point. Plays Peta, the young girl who Denzel Washington. Uh, Dakota Fanning. Dakota, Dakota Fanning. In Man on Fire. Dakota Fanning. Yeah, I should, I should have rolled with uh, Denzel Washington myself. Here and yeah. Denzel Washington. Not doing too bad. Denzel Washington received his first Best Lead Malcolm Actor X. Oscar nomination for which film? Yeah. Mm. He definitely got a nomination for that for sure. Is that his first one? That was probably his first one. Five, four, three. Because I don't know of any other lead that he's done before that. B, Courage Under Fire. The Hurricane was the other one I was thinking too. But he was the lead in Malcolm X. I would have, uh, yeah, I would stick with Malcolm X. I hate the way this question is phrased. His first nomination, but not his Five, first win. Four. Yeah. No, I think it was his. Um, Malcolm X. Correct for one. It could point. be both. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So, it's something that he, yeah. It's kind of like a screw. Gets it's screw right around six with Leo Drew picking up a big steal with a one point steal here as we get to round number two. Are going to drop Riley out, bring back Kaiser? Kaiser, 60 <laughs> seconds to talk to Drew starting now. Um, Denzel should have won that Academy Award, Drew, because he lost to um, Pacino in that stupid blind movie. Ooh, uh, Denzel, Ooh, uh, son of a woman. Denzel son of a woman. That. I love that movie. But, uh, Yep. Hoo -ah! Tom. He's here. He's behind me. He's getting ice. You know, I'm <laughs> he not never well me I think I drank a little too much cough medicine, but I'm coming out of it. Where's Tommy? He's Where's in, Tommy? Getting, he's getting ice. Yes. It's very what good. What happens when you don't see people for 25 years? I haven't seen you. I haven't seen Please Laura. tell me all of this is like code talk. Years. It is. I miss, you I miss you guys. It's like an episode of The Shining. It's like a, it's it's it is right. code talk. Yeah, let's do it. I all love right, it. The wheel. Feel like That's fantastic. All right, here it is. Yeah. Firing pep talk. It's Twin, it's Twin Peaks code talk. It's code talk. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably like the Mel most Brooks. clever code talk I've, I've seen this entire time. If you want Mel Brooks, starting now. Personally, uh, I mean, I would love to see Mel not Brooks. Not my favorite category, but you know, that's me. I'm I could not be you. hit or miss on Mel Brooks. See. Stick with it. You stick with there's it? a lot of his movies I absolutely love, but there, I know there's okay, some Mel in there. Okay, like, I've with never Mel seen. Yeah, I don't know. Drop out, out, like thing. If it had been, a, if, it, uh, if there had been we're gonna bring bigger feel Riley. with more stuff that I was confident about, four questions. But I'm just happy to move it, Mel but Brooks I also know a lot about Mel Brooks movies. Like you All love right, Mel Brooks. Brooks. I love asking questions about this great man. Good pick, Drew. Your first question. It was honestly one of the stronger points in the wheel. Who plays Robin Hood in Robin Hood? Carrie Elwes. Night? Carrie Elwes, yeah. Carrie Elwes, or Elwes, uh, A-U-L-W-E-S. We got you is either right? way, and that is correct for two points. And we move on to your next question. Look, Cam Chef. The lead is now two yeah, for Mark Riley. Cam. Who plays the role of Victoria Brisbane in 1977's High Anxiety? See, I'm not that familiar with High Anxiety. You can just take a guess. I believe it. That's Madeline Kahn. You believe correct, and we are tied nice. 
at 10. It's a good one. Next question here. Video Drew tying up can take her first lead here <laughs> if she gets this correct. Here it is. Big to bring that lead into round three, partner. And your penultimate question in the wonderful world of Mel Brooks. Mel Brooks appears as Mr. Welling in uh, the little rascals. 94 family feature. I got a dollar. I got a Multiple dollar. I got a dollar. Hey, 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 hey. Right. Is it That's A, the Little Rascals, B, yep. Richie Rich, C, Casper, or D, the Page Master? Ooh, that's a good multiple choice. Can I get so, a repeat of the answer? I guess I totally you know, also assumed three, yeah. this would be Mel Brooks. You certainly made your multiple choice. So why would they? It's not like Clint Eastwood is relegated to just Clint Eastwood. Yeah. Rich, C, movies. Casper, I, that or that D, the so Page Master. thing I like, didn't think about on my part. I'm going with D, the Page Master. That is incorrect. So, Mark Riley, for a one-point steal, I'm going to repeat the question in the multiple-choice options. Mel Brooks appears as Mr. Welling in what 1994 family feature? Mm. Is it A, The Little Rascals, B, Richie Rich, C, Casper, or D, The Page Master? I'm go with Richie Rich. Thank God he knows less about this That's than I do. Correct. I did not know this either. <laughs> the Little Rascals. That was Little a great poll. Robert so. Blake and The Little Rascals. Well, yeah. now we're going to get our question here, <laughs> is our fourth question Correct. for Video <laughs> Drew to continue to take her lead in the realm of Mel Brooks. Here's you know, there'll be little question. rascal questions on this All quiz. right, Drew, this is your final question. In round number two, this could give you the lead going into round number three. In the world of Mel Brooks, who plays the role of SS Captain Schultz in 1983's To Be or Not To Be? Again, not a. Oh no, he, he enjoyed. Ooh. No, he didn't. That is a very good question. Multiple choice, please. Is it A. Charles Durning, B. Tim Matheson, C. Jose Ferrer, or D. 1983? Mm hmm. Christopher so Lloyd. D. Christopher Lloyd. You went right, and Christian. That's that the only name I recognized on the Lloyd. sheet, so that's, that's, that's what we went with. Lead for video group going into round three. Jeez. Video group takes the lead Rob, over Mark Riley here, not, 11 to 10 as we get to round number three. The final round, that. Mark, how's it go? It's the final countdown here, Christian, although we do. We got a video so Drew over. in the we lead going into round, in round three. I'm so three. excited. Each competitor yeah, is simply going to give us a series of numbers. Yeah. Not too hard. These numbers range from one to 20. We need three from each of you. You may not select the same number it's as It's really hard opponent. not to be a spoiler. Why? but Each I'm number corresponds to a unique world of movie trivia knowledge. Your first question is going to be worth two points. Your next one is worth three points. And your last one is worth five of the biggest points. I like how close this time. match is. I mean, so this is this is a good match. Yourself in the yeah. I with the of uh, but it, it's close. Video Drew can give us her three lucky numbers first. So Video Drew from one to 20, what feels fortunate? Well, I want to go with my best friend's birthday, and that'd be five one eight. Five one eight. Uh, that's Mark Riley's birthday. That's weird, isn't it? Yeah, oh, that, I would say I agree. That was some uh, rough questions yes, about five eighteen. That's true. All right, yeah. Brooke. Uh, Happy birthday, they didn't ask anything Mark. about like space balls or uh, three letters. Yeah, three numbers. Oh, <laughs> yeah, waving saddles. Nine, twelve, and seven. Well, okay. Nine, twelve, and seven. Have you tapped my phone? Well, the reason they're insane right. is because they're not about Mel Brooks. That is so wonderful. It's about movies. Right, so we are, we are going to let um like, let Dagino talk to Riley here. Sixty here. seconds. Oh, wait, actually, no. I'm sorry, Kaiser. Talk to yeah. I was like, where's my young seconds. Frankenstein hey, questions? That's hey, um, Uncle Frankenstein. Exactly. That's Igor. Is this a question? Well, if you were like Teen Teen Spunk Spirit, it's not Teen Spunk. I like the one where it's like. I wish I was like you, easily amused. Yeah, it was I like the Trent Reznor one uh, from, from the social network that it's that's Radiohead, but it's it's a little boy singing, all the little boys. How much time do we have left, Christian? Because I don't want to waste any. How much? In 30 seconds. I don't want to waste any more. I don't want to waste any. All right, all right, fine. Uh, all right, so, okay. uh, Dagnino, you got 60 seconds to talk to Ryan yeah, starting was. now. <laughs> Buckle down here, bud. Just buckling down, man. Let's, Let's get the two, three, and five and send this thing home. Okay. All right. So we're like starting here with Mark Spirit, Riley. Like, Mark, you like chose. Let's <laughs> get uh, your managers both out of here. Excuse me, please. Going to remove both. Uh, and Kaiser are gone. Got it. Riley, you chose for your first you. category. You chose Gross. category number nine. <laughs> category number nine. That would be in the realm of Wait, animated Spunky, films. Wait, Spunky, that's the name of uh, Rocco's animated dog. Films in order to take the lead yes. back. 
Yes. I mean it. Here you Can go. Can I mind if I unpack some of my stuff? Go ahead. All right. Yeah. Here you go. <laughs> Puss in Boots is first introduced <laughs> in which Shrek film two. in the Shrek franchise? Sequel, yeah. Two. Shrek 2. Correct. For two I points. Boots. Bounces back. A, sh- a Shrek lick boogaloo. Points, now it is Riley with a one point. I tried. As now video Shrek Drew has lick. to answer her two, and that's uh, Shrek, 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 Shrek lick that. boogaloo. Why are you licking Shrek? Very fast. You're going to get warts. Uh, He's video both love and life, though. number five for your two point question. <laughs> and that corresponds to the category of Angelina Jolie. Oh. And your question. Which James Bond Alex. actor stars alongside Angelina Jolie as Alex Gerard West? No, James Bond. No, the newest one. Where across Damn, the right. Tomb Raider. <sighs> Almost threw me off there for a second. Repeat, please. Second one. Yeah. In the category of Angelina Jolie, which James Bond actor stars alongside Angelina Jolie as Alex West? In 2001's Lara Croft. Uh, that's Dominic Raider. West. Sean Bean. Oh, sorry. It's incorrect. Actually, looking for the current James Bond, Daniel Craig. Ah, Overthought ah, it. Yes. Overthought it. You are right. I have seen right, absolutely so now Video Drew will get a three pointer, and that is in the category of. Yeah, that's like, the thing. All right. It's be it's two pointers is always like the. Uh, the number one, two, three, three, four, three answer. Pointers. They're asking for James Bond actor, and they're that saying the word be James new Bond. Releases. So like, and these are any yeah, movies I that could have come out in the last 12 to 18 actor. months. It's been a pandemic. Yeah. But I'm thinking myself, not really. Not really for. For this question, uh, I've seen that movie. Like, it's just more like Secret at the Service time he agent was... Mike Banning <laughs> is framed for an attempted attack on the president in what uh, 2019? So the Olympus film. has fallen, Olympus. Or, or 19 Angels. An- yeah. Angel, Angel, Angel. Has fallen. Olympus was the first one. London Five. was the second one. Four. Final, 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 one. final repeat. Right, this is in the category of new releases for three points. Secret Service agent Mike Banning is framed for an attempted attack on the president in what 2019 film? You got way too many votes. Fallen has fallen. The, fall, has the fallen, fallen has fallen. Oh, yikes. Incorrect. Oh, so close. Angel okay. has fallen. Ah, I guess first the franchise. Right, so here is where we stand. Video Drew will get her five pointer. If I was thinking Olympus too, but to Mark that was the she misses it. That was Mark the White Riley House down. Advance to play. It Perry honestly Nemeroff took me that long to get to Olympus. Next well. round, so like, category I was number never eight for the five pointer mark. I want to get to Olympus. That's right, Christian, and, and it corresponds to another director, yeah. much like Mel Brooks. Uh, for your five point question, Andres is right. It's just a forgettable series. It's true. And to extend the match. I've already forgotten the first one. That's the only one of the three I've seen. Wonderful, wacky world of Quentin Tarantino. Oh, fine. Yes. Tintin Quarantino. Quentin Tarantino. In the lead, five points. In which Tarantino <laughs> film will you find a character planning a trip to uh, Jackie Brown at the end of the film? So, and... she's saying Pulp Fiction. And your winner! That's not exactly how it went. What happened was I asked for a repeat that I did not have. And it was a real sloppy, it was a real sloppy thing. So Mark won. Uh, Full stop. Mark won that match. However, Pulp Fiction was would not have been my first choice for an answer if I just had to blurt something out. It would have probably been Jackie Brown had I just blurted something out but the match was already over and I was trying to think in my head after the match you know well, you know what what was it were they trying to think of the bulls had jules mentioned it was it something butch said like you know and they were talking not about the end but the chronological end and i was getting like real flipped out because just process of elimination jackie brown seemed like the obvious answer but i hadn't watched it and i just thought that would be too easy for five pointer to just name something a character said at the movie so i was really trying to figure out if they were trying to screw with me on the chronological side of things and uh so i you know we we went back to let me redo with saying pulp fiction uh but that's that's maybe not where i would have gone but the point is over because i had lost the match so yeah. i i kind of a part of me wishes uh they they'd let me just do that final jt to just not answer anything but that would have been a big like floppy flop flop 
However, I feel like other people are gonna be mad at me for thinking Pulp Fiction when like I, I knew that it wasn't in Pulp Fiction. There's just only so many Tarantino films and there's only so many where a character can reasonably be expected to go to Madrid afterwards. Like not that many, no one's going to Madrid after like Reservoir Dogs or like The Hateful Eight or like, uh, you know. I, I thought Kill Bill, I thought she was she was going to Madrid with her daughter at the end. I know Jackie Brown, there's the character that is going. Yeah, she says she's going to Madrid, yeah. I, I thought she said she was going too. Yeah, hmm. I mean, it could be, look, I think it's it's a five pointer for a reason and it seemed like it shouldn't be super, super easy, like easy or obvious. Uh, I just, I didn't know it. I haven't, I hadn't seen the movie like the night before someone had mentioned like, maybe you should try watching Jackie Brown. It's the one Tarantino movie you haven't seen. But like I hadn't, so like he won fair and square, although it's less like he won and more like I lost, which is how it kind of feels. Like it feels like he didn't win that match so much as I took him, I was ahead of him round three and I just failed to answer any of my two, three or fivers. And that's- Yeah, that's, it would have been- Yeah. Yeah, it would have been a fight if you answered more of those those last questions and then he would have actually had to fight for it too, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, like I was, I was ahead going to round two or round three, which I don't see, think anybody saw coming specifically not me after those devilish mel gibson uh, mel brooks ah, questions uh but it was really my game to lose at that point and it, it feels it does it does sort of suck that it did go out down that way and maybe it should have ended with no repeat but like that would have also been like kind of a crummy deflation and then everyone's sitting there wondering well would she have done it like when she in it and it would have been like yeah. crummy so going back and recording with like an answer that i knew doing the re-record was like not right sucked but then again like it i'd already lost so two on one hand one on the other yeah interesting yeah this is a little peek behind the screen <laughs> the answer mark it was jackie brown jackie brown jackie brown video drew a hell of a match it's very very close there to defeating Mark Riley. It's just like not yet. It's... All right, Drew, going to put you in the waiting room for a moment here. And gonna bring I think it's, 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 it's not a great Augusta. feeling. Tough one here, guys. All hail the Drew flesh. I love that. Uh, video Drew had uh, was was making it and looked just those the three and the five got her at the end, but she was poised to really make a big. Yeah, and you here. want. Uh, we obviously want Video Drew to win this one because we want to see more Video Drew in the tournament. I, mean, I thought yeah. I was going to have a heart attack. Um, yeah, tough. Like, I mean, and also, uh, they're not very happy with him because he didn't win. Forward, I lost. You know. Yeah. Mark knows this too. That's that's. Like that's he's, not he he doesn't come off like you know, he won a match. You know, I'm sure he wouldn't have like he would have liked to have won on better circumstances yeah, than losing. Round one questions in there, Mark, as you had mentioned, and I think that once you get into the flow oh, of the slowdown and for being away for a little bit and not competing and feeling that white hot fire of the spotlight. Maybe you need a match. And I think they rust off. Is that how you felt? Honestly, today? go like a little too hard, hard on him. So do you feel like it's all shaken off? Do you happen to know? Yeah. Uh, yeah. You don't have to answer because I know this is some of this might be the mystique of behind the scenes. But do you know if this was filmed before the Who's the Boss? Do I know if whether this was filmed before or after and, uh, something? And I, I was in it. Yes, it was filmed before. before. Yeah, it, it kind of surprising okay. first round question. It's filmed before like, the other thing. Great. That's why they don't mention like him losing to anybody. You know, all three of you. It was, that was a good match. Well, you know, look, Tom, this is a, this is a much needed win. Yeah, obviously. because, I mean. You had uh, Riley not taken that match. Then the Finstock exchange is uh, hanging on by a thread. And um, They're, like, you know, very unhappy was, with him. And I feel like that's a little bit unfair, too. It's not like I did a terrible job. I did, like, a pretty good like job. And then and I just sometimes blocked. This today happens. But yeah. He still won the match. But it's what do you do to prepare for Perry Nemiroff going into the next round? I mean, look, you know. That was a tight match. Uh, everybody knows the Finstock can get as many wins as we possibly can. Can, right can Perry no pull off the it. win again uh, on that? You know, Riley in this tournament is a, because a, a double uh, upset with Perry. You know, this was look. Uh, is, he, is he even the is he the, uh, the favorite and, going know, into Perry? Like I was saying that he, those were some tough. I don't know anymore, here, honestly. Here's the, the thing: like I, I love. I mean, well. maybe oh based God, on the like championships. Because we thought that was this is my diary from when I was like in middle school. Phone. Two sweet thing. It says, it says sweet thing. But if you want, I can read you diary entries I had from high school uh, or no middle school. Good technique. It's yeah, this is real old. Low, it can take you out of your game. I uh, yeah, I don't want, know if uh, you guys want to hear my diet when I was in um uh high school or middle school. Starter, but I have a feeling he's gonna go all One dessert, if any, a day. One soda per day. 
you need to parry. Only one day. helping of food per day. Drink well, more milk and water. Uh, no more fat or fatty foods. foods. Please, Please keep to this diet. History. <laughs> I like how my diet is defined by what I'm not allowed to do and not like by any food I should eat. Just, you work with Perry. I only have one dessert and one soda. Knowledgeable. More milk, did. please. The funny thing is, I think that's still kind of the like backbone to pretty much any diet you find on the internet. Like, were you an innovator? It starts with me saying only one dessert and then just goes from there. Yeah. Good on you, Perry. And that's the thing about this tournament. You know, I know. Yeah, Perry can win this match. Analyze every angle of this match that I've just. Definitely could. Look, I could have won this match. I didn't, but I could have. You can see with Perry. In another, in another way, I could have. Taken that match. Won this match. Anybody's game. Sometimes you have good. Andres yeah. is saying, "Video Drew really impressed me today. I'm super proud of her and her improvement and studying oh, her reign yeah. in the Schmodown is only beginning." Yeah. How much better I am. So Perry. Not this year, but yes. Never to death, but she better be prepared. Satanic panic. Just to get to the belt, I have so much. I did, see, I did see that. Work after this. Oh, Clark Wolf. All right. Well, look. Uh, once again, a win is a win, and Mark Yodi Riley. I'll take it. Sox, I'll take it. Three points here. Three points. Final score: Mark Riley twelve. Video Drew eleven. All right. Gonna remove. Yeah. Mark and I love Riley. Finstock he's he's great. He's a great competitor, but I don't like know if he's I don't know if he's gonna win against Perry at this point. Was... Oh, I got a text message from Norm McDonald. One of his. Oh, yeah. Well, what happens is <laughs> when I get a text from Norm, I, one of his bits goes off. I apologize. Yeah, fair. All right, Drew, I got to start with you. <laughs> Christian's like, can you tell him about the Schmo down? See if he wants to come. Uh, <laughs> 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 and, and At least let him call him match. Down to the hey, we've been over. I know. I guess we're just put up again. If you think you had more, more time, had you not used nice. all three of the JTE rules, do you think that you would have gotten? Uh, you would have gotten there, or, or maybe not. Look, Yoda is all knowing. He he got a little bit shaky around one two. I really thought I had that in the bag. Uh, it was definitely between uh, Pulp Fiction and Jackie Brown, which is the one Quentin Tarantino movie I have not seen. The one. The one. Yes, I know. There's something wrong with me. But that's the one. So I was actually leaning towards that and going back and forth between Pulp Fiction. I was thinking maybe. That's I mean, the there's one definitely one. something about that is it, yeah, uh, mainly because I think it's that. also the one that he didn't I mean, write himself because it was based off an Elmore I mean, Leonard book. He adapted it though, right? And video yeah. Drew, and video drew. And I'm just it's like the forgotten Quentin Tarantino it. movie. Almost, Almost yeah. yeah. Almost run. No, it's like I don't know it's one of his. You're absolutely. You had it. like messed up. I haven't seen it. Definitely given Riley. Um, a big run. I would also actually probably argue that Hateful Eight is the forgotten Quentin Tarantino movie because Star Wars overpowered it. True romance is the Quentin Tarantino forgotten movie. Someone who is kind of straight. You know, that's true too. This was a Drew played phenomenal. There's no doubt about it, right? now. That was Tony Scott. Nonetheless. Yeah. No Stone. No, no, no. Oliver Stone did. He did his other one. He did. He did Natural Born Killers. Has not gone your way. How can you stop the bleeding? How true can romance. You get the ship from the dungeon to true romance, natural born killers, uh, uh, and then un, uh, not until well, dawn. It's called. Uh, we just did it uh, from Death Dungeon. I would say this was a. Oh yeah, no. Uh, true romance was Tony Scott. Out with Mark Riley. True romance. Tony Scott. Okay. I would have yeah. liked to have had a nice cup of soup. From Dust till dawn was Robert Rodriguez. But he, you know, he's Mark Riley. He's the Yoda. He's the. He's the. One of the best. Who else is the dungeon still having the uh, singles tournament? Just me and uh, Eric. I'm not going to talk about that. Uh, is it, oh, it was just you and Zipper at this point? Um, you can Vinny? That. Vinny. Oh, Vinny. Yeah, Vinny's still in it. Proud of Drew. She, she, she studied her butt off. She played hard. She absorbed the game this season, man. She really came in. And oh, he's not wearing a shirt. On, I thought he was wearing a, like a hairy chest shirt sure. <laughs> like it was a t-shirt <laughs> of just a hairy chest and I, really I just i just didn't see the collar line around the neck in 2021 we all know what she can do live and in person she that's she's just the shock factor she was a beautiful <laughs> have you seen inside the gucci verse uh yeah, yeah I've been on it. i think have i been on it <laughs> this is the typical kaiser uh dress code mm. One more thing. First of all, thank you, Mr. Kaiser, for those kind words. I was yeah. really looking forward to playing Mark Riley for very one specific reason. I love horror movies. Mark Riley loves yeah, horror I movies. Yeah, I do. I am a horror movie. 
I would have really liked to see a match, a rematch with Mark Riley and I going head to head to head to se separate head about scary things. All and right, thank you. Thank you, yeah. Trevor. Okay. Trevor's nice. Yeah. Wow, there's, there's there were three. Happen. How much lobster does the the average person? Uh, all right, you stop. I'll take two, and two butters. All right, two okay. sides of butter. All right, hey, you're still on the air, Kaiser. Oh, no, no. all right. We'll... <laughs> edited by Nerd Chronic. Okay. <laughs> That's where it needs to pop up saying edited by Nerd Chronic. To the Schmodown community. Yodi for crying. That too. Everyone loves Video Drew's charming and lovely and winning personality. But why isn't she called overrated? Everyone else gets that. Is it because no one bothers rating her in the first place because they think she's just a good personality good point. and not a good trivia player? Question that. I think I've shown myself today to be a very, very good trivia player who just hasn't seen one Quentin Tarantino film. Fair enough. That's, Look, that's it. Who the... is Django Fett? No, will you just stop? <laughs> Freddy Fett, one of the Fett brothers. All right. Yeah, one of the Fett. Fett. <laughs> great match here today. Uh, didn't go your way, guys. And Kaiser, we'll see you with the Eric Zipper match in uh, round number two. Uh, all right. So yeah. There is. That's the problem that you guys had three Kaiser. players all on one side of the yeah, bracket. You know. Yeah, that's not great. But so far, that yeah. hasn't been the she issue. Great. I mean, she played great. She hung in there with Ryan the whole whole entire time. She had him. She had him on the ropes once again going into that lead going into the third round. She played really well in the Mel Brooks category, but she got a three and a five that she simply didn't know. Yeah, I mean, we Mark still have to see how Vinny does against I think Ethan, and, and then obviously, like you know, he Zipper's also moving along too. The rest of the tournament, um, mm -hmm. he was eaten alive. He knows that he's been in this position before, but that's also the career of Riley. What he's had, he'll have a game. Oh my like gosh, this. it's so dirty in here. The next one, he at, at this moment has been a kind of a consistently inconsistent. And like you know, it's, it's not the teams. Not am I allowed to talk over this part? Singles, he's got yeah. to get back to that. It's, 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 it's hard to, hard to know that you're only going to be in one game because uh, it's in the regular season. To have like you know, sort of made this decision to move yourself back over to Los Angeles and want to be closer to Schmodown. Of course, that's not exactly what happened. It's again more like I ended up here because of various well, circumstances of wanting to be in free for all, which never happened, and all this other stuff. And now, you know, scared all these boxes, and like, okay, I'm actually finally officially moved out to LA. And then to be like, and it's the same day this match comes out, to be like, yeah, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be in turn on the rest of the season. But you can't really be mad at that. I mean, it's just, it is what it is. Uh, yeah. I'm happy to have come out here. Like, I'm happy to be here. I'm happier here than I was in New York. But it is not like a weird, bittersweet thing. In the score yeah, like that's the season. That's that's my first and last thing of the season. Uh, I have an exhibition match with the team, up uh, for rom coms right. coming out sometime, I think, in October. Right. So, guys, thank you very much. Really appreciate joining us here today. Make sure you as go far as I know, to I'm not being teased. As far as I know, matches, do it. You said you're not. On your as far as I know. Anywhere. Maybe they maybe they decided something different, but uh, I don't think it's going to be me. I don't think it should be me. But uh, I love doing. I do love doing teams. Um, I want to say it was supposed to be a Zipper and Wit. That sounds right. And we do some exhibition matches and the so I think they they've already talked about in December. I think both of them. We've had both of them on here. If you're at that tier, how do we ship them? What a match it was. Nonetheless, we have. The exchange moving to the next round. Pleasure calling it as always with you, my man. It's going to be like the old Collider days. Get to hang out with Mark Riley and Perry Nemiroff. And we mentioned community before <laughs> and how they rallied around competitors like Video Drew and Mark Riley. Check out the Schmodown Facebook group. Join, become a member today. And I hung out with Perry in the theater. Down. Frankie Janish and. Oh, me and Perry have hung out before. She, she was on the screen, though. Drops oh, that's not quite the same Perry thing. Saturday. Yeah. Morning, like when I mean, we used to watch cartoons. Technically, at South by last year, we hung out with you're not best friends with everyone. You, you're not best friends with everyone you're on the screen with. Guys, make sure you check out the matches. Sure. Coming everyone should know from from watching video, Drew, you're not her best friend necessarily. That's still Tom. Today, if you haven't, click the like, leave a comment. And we'll see you next time. Okay, that was Boom. fun. And by fun, I mean like it was hard, especially because I knew the ending. But like 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 the movie arrived, like I knew the ending, but you guys didn't, so I couldn't just say it. So that was hard. I did a really good job not spoiling it. Yes, you did a phenomenal job not spoiling that match for us at all. No, yeah, hey. no, no clue. <laughs> um, yeah. 
So overall, like how, how did that feel like playing up playing against Riley though? Uh, look, uh, I, it was a match I really wanted. It was a match I had asked for, like I hadn't asked Christian of them, but like it had gotten out, I guess. Cause you know, I think there's, there's just some characters in the Schmodown. And I don't want to press too hard on this at the end because it didn't like really seem like the right beat, but like, there's some people in the Schmodown who get a lot of accolades and be like, I get called to be on Mount Rushmore. And I look at them and I'm like, I could probably take them. Like Riley was one guys, another people that I'm just like, if we're, if we're calling people overrated, if we're using that term, like let's make sure it's applicable as much to like both genders, or we just don't call people overrated. That would also be good. But if, as long as we're looking at overrated players, uh, you know, they were just not even overrated, but like, uh, cause they don't do anything to gain that turn. It's not a negative slight on them. It's just like how they're rated in like the conversation. Like, I think that it was, I wanted to go up against Riley a lot. Uh, Kalinowski was another person I really want to go up against because I feel like our knowledge is probably equatable. And I think this match proved that like our knowledge is pretty equatable. Like he might've gotten my five pointer. Uh, I might've gotten like his three and five, but like it's, it was pretty equal. Like I was winning going into round three. So like, yeah, I was, and then it wasn't his game to prove, like it wasn't his game to win. It was my game to lose at that point. So that it's a bad feeling. So I still don't know if like from my own knowledge, if he would have, beaten me like yeah. had i had i not like just kind of waffled waft the two three and five waffled that sounds wrong if i had not whiffed the two three and five but, but i did so like there's it's it, you know you do a lot of cyclical thinking in your head of like after these kind of matches where you're like well if i just played this one thing differently if i just done this differently if i hadn't asked for like a a jte on something i didn't have a jte left to use on i might have just blurted out jackie brown like I might have, but I didn't. I waited till the last second and asked for JT that didn't exist. So like, it's it's hard and it sucks. But uh, I'm really glad I got to play him. And I do like I really was disappointed. I had gone like a lot over my head whether I should put horror on the wheel, but I knew that Riley is a huge horror nut. And I figured if I put horror on the wheel, then he'd be able to take two new wheel slices, and I didn't want to give him the advantage. So I was like really hoping that horror was just going to be on the wheel somehow, and I would be able to spin it because that's really my biggest strength. I don't think that's like a surprise to anyone to know that horror is like my biggest strength of a category. And it just like was not even in the game. So that was kind of a bummer. But then he missed the Allison Williams get out question. So I feel like maybe not that great at horror. I don't know. I don't know. There's definitely some white blind spots in there for sure. That, I mean, that's a good question. Just the Allison Williams. Cause I mean, I, I wouldn't say that that's necessarily the, the person from that movie. You're like almost, it would be hard to pull like almost anyone's name from that movie. I would say, right yeah, off the bat, Bradley Whitford. Uh, that would, uh, yeah, I would say Bradley Whitford and Daniel Kaluuya are probably like the two major like, ones, Samuel? and Catherine Keener. But probably not. So you're wrong. I mean, okay, in my <laughs> brain, in my brain world, I would say Alice Williams probably wasn't like the first, like right off the bat. But um. I, I mean, I, I like honestly, I, I, Alice Williams came to me immediately but i also was like a huge fan of girls so it's i also like knew her through her dad who worked with my ex-husband like it just it came to me like it wasn't a hard one to, for me to get but like the fact that he didn't know it and he's like a, this big horror expert like speaks to a little something like i also like the denzel questions were were compared to the mel brooks questions i feel like were unevenly balanced but that's not a knock on the question writers at all because it's just sort of like what you chose and what you spun and like if had i gotten denzel i don't think i would have done as well as he did in denzel like, yeah. I wouldn't have done that well, but uh, that bends well. Uh, <laughs> I might have even said Alexander Skarsgård because I really only got to P Peter Skarsgård by realizing that they were trying to screw with the names a little bit and make that sort of like a trap question and then realizing, okay, well, then it's probably going to be this guy. So it's like one or the other one. Yeah, they gave you two names that sounded similar. So if it's not one, then you just go with the other guy. I love that. That's like you're gaming the system. You 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 know you're kind of knowing how it is, and you're kind of getting that that well, underneath. And, it, and it's more like the system's gaming you. The system's going. Yeah. Here's like when you, the system's going. You chose multiple choice, so we're gonna give you two very similar character actors' names. Now the answer is probably going to be one of those two actors' names again. But then sometimes the multiple choice is the one that doesn't sound like it, and they're just trying to focus too much on like an actor's name and try to like mess with your brain a little bit that way. So it's it's yeah. a Pretty good tactic. Uh, if he hadn't gotten yeah. multiple, let me put it this way: had he not gone to multiple, I would not have gotten that question. So that's that's yeah, just that's one of those. Like, I, I would be glad that like that wasn't written by uh, Eric because Eric would have put like all the scars guard and Sars guard, everyone, the whole it family. Been, Bill, it would have been all the Sars guards. 
<laughs> and we're like, dang it. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, like, uh, you know, it was, a, it was a tough match. Uh, I felt like it did feel like a little bit like I was playing. And then maybe that's just also the benefit of, or benefit or the, the takeaway from doing these virtual matches. It does feel a lot more like you're just playing your, you're just playing against yourself. Like you're not playing against anybody because there's like not as much crosstalk and you can't like get the vibes of a live audience. You're just kind of, you're just kind of like going against yourself, seeing if you can answer these trivia questions. Yeah. Obviously I got really in my head. Like I got way too my head to like remember my JTEs. I even said like on that last, final, second to last question, I go, JTE, like I'm using my final one. So like I very clearly knew the end, but I just couldn't pull it. And then as soon as they said like, you, you, you already used your final JTE, you're lost. I like immediately started arguing and I was like, no, I didn't, like I didn't use it. Uh, like you go into like a weird fugue state. So it's, it's really hard to keep track of things when they're not live matches uh, and they're not like in front of people. Did you uh, did you also feel any like pressure from like just care as not, I don't want to say carrying the dungeon, but trying to get more points for the faction? Do you feel any pressure for that in this match, too? Look, no one, no one pressured me about it. Like, uh, yeah. it, no one gave me pressure. I do feel pressure that like I wanted to do right by the dungeon. Mm -hmm. um, but it was more, you know, I think I spent a lot more on the character work, like, you know, honestly. And that's also where I felt like this match fell a little flat because it's just it doesn't convert as well to a digital match format as as uh like video drew in person in front of a, a live audience like it just i kind of knew that they were like looking to like cut down on the cross talk you can see from these live uh pay-per-view matches that like they're getting a little bit like annoyed when you when you talk over each other and they're trying to keep that down to a minimum it's you know yeah. it's even though it's not live it is a it is happening live i guess that everything is Everything is happening live, uh, so like, you know, they can edit it later, but they don't want your connection dropping. They don't want to. They want to see about the delay time. Um, so there's that element of like, I wanted to like talk less and just smile more and just kind of give my answers. And so that kind of like hit the, that, that's like a weird part of it. Yeah. Know, the it Hamil time, as, as, as soon as she said talk less, I knew where I was going. Um, <laughs> I mean, that's always been the video drew thing, but like also this particular was like the thing where it's like I don't want to talk that much. Like you, you know who does it well is Tom. Like you watch his match, he like only said a few things, but in his very yeah. time, like wait, what are the perfect things to say in the moment? I've never been as good at being quiet and like saying stuff in the moment. So the benefit for Tom's character also is is more so that uh, yeah, he doesn't say a whole lot. He doesn't spend a whole lot of time. Say, so he can spend more time in his head actually like thinking about answers and stuff too. Yeah. Uh, Absolutely. Not very long. <laughs> Not very long. Uh, so the other thing uh, to touch upon real quick is uh, during pretty much ever since, like, well, yeah, you you can't you left New York because that the, they were about to completely lock down. You got out like the day before the lockdown started. Yep. Um, in which case, going back, you were you were planning on coming to Austin for South by, but that got canceled. So instead, you just hightailed it to LA and crashed with Eric. And then y'all been doing uh, y'all been doing the video chronic uh, quizzes since pretty much ever since you started over there. Mm -hmm. How do you do? You feel like that kind of like helped play into some of this, and that like you've been sitting essentially on that couch or not that couch. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, different, different couch. couch. But I mean, you've been you've been sitting there doing the video chronic quizzes, answering questions. Now here you are back on the schmodown, still sitting in essentially the same area, answering questions virtually. Do you feel like that that kind of helped you going into this match? Yeah, I think it did actually. I think that uh, doing these like two quizzes a week, plus I was like just training constantly. It really mm -hmm. does give you a sense of like shake it off, wrong answer. Like I said, like I don't really retain uh, the raw the like who's who's losing i'm not really retaining how many gts like i use like i think i can get a little bit better about that but like really it's just these things these days like everything else in the world right now they kind of like meld into one experience so in some ways i'm still playing that match and maybe i have a chance to answer jackie brown this time uh and in some ways like that match has not ha happened yet and some match is over so it just it but then like in 30 minutes i'm gonna start a new match so time is weird guys tenet tenet yeah. yeah, it's still as far as we know, it's still March. So it, as far as I know, I can't breathe, and like I'd still March and all the scary things. Like you I know, feel inverted. Yeah, I feel inverted is a great way, of, great way of putting it. I feel inverted. 
So I felt like inverted smiley face about this match. Uh, wish it had gone differently, obviously. But I'm like not the lesser person for having done it and still think that Mark, by the way, is like a fantastic human being. I know people say that a lot and like are trying to do like the face thing of being like this person's fantastic, but there's no real but about Riley. Like, but he's like a totally nice person and like a and <laughs> doesn't come at you too spicy and like doesn't try to do anything except show up and answer trivia. That you Mark know, like, Riley, he's, he's, he's never he, gonna steal the scene from me. So yeah. He's a nice person, but he's a really kind human also. Yeah, I would never say this to his face, but like he's a really great competitor, and like it was, it was mm -hmm. better for having played him versus anyone else I can think of in Shmodan who would have been coming at me with a little bit more fire. That he being said, I would love to see you, I would love to see you against Andrew Guy right now. I would love to see me against Andrew Guy right now. That would be so much fun. I would love That'd to be... see me. I bet a match has to happen, right? Yeah. Uh, find a way. Right. Find a way. Okay. <laughs> going going back to Mark Riley, he's also uh, so nice. He's the first uh, Schmodown competitor that pops up in our uh, intro video. Yeah. This. Yes. Notice that. Hey, hey, <laughs> wait. Call to action. Hey, yeah. Alex. <laughs> Alex. Alex can't pick her uh, her profile to be on. <laughs> so yeah. So I'm doing. Yeah. So like. Uh, Oh, sorry, I'm like bringing up with the comments now. So yeah, in like 30 minutes, we're doing like a video chronic thing. Um, yeah. It's like these, you know, I've got all this stuff here. My brain's like kind of in shambles, but but thank you guys for having me on. So I could could I could come and explain some of the the match to people out loud instead of just in the inside of my head. Yeah. Uh, speaking of which, uh, we need to wrap this up real quick. So she has some time to uh, take a quick break before going to her her stick over on the video. Drew oh, door door to stream. Stream, stream, stick. Yeah. Uh, if yeah, anyone yeah. has any questions, let's drop those in real quick. Uh, video, Drew, if you have any other plugs you would like to give. Oh, shoot. You know, yeah, I usually do because I usually am doing a million things. I mean, tomorrow night I do. Uh, you can find me, by the way, at anything backslash video, Drew. So Twitter, video, Drew. Instagram, video, Drew. YouTube, video, Drew. Like twitch.tv, video, Drew. So tomorrow at 8, I'm doing, um, we're going back to the 8 p.m. time slot for the, uh, oh, my phone's. My phone accidentally started auto dictating that, and that was fun to look at. Um, yeah. uh, so we're doing Twitch karaoke, which is uh, really fun. So it's called Twitch Sings. So it's starting at eight p.m. and anyone can come join up, and it's it's really like the funnest part of the week. Uh, then it's Sunday at eight p.m. nine p.m. We do live in the dark with Video Drew, and I think our guest this week is Liz Shannon Miller, I believe. Oh. So don't quote me on that, but like I'm on a video saying that. So let's see if that works out. Um, that's my in Cape Babe show. That's that's really fun. It's sort of like a mix between space ghost in between two ferns um on mondays and thursdays we do the video chronic pop culture quiz and on tuesday at 8 p.m we're doing cinema bias with um wendy uh who's going to be coming on from the collider uh to talk about mulan so that's gonna be real fun i have never seen mulan the animated one oh. so yeah we fill in each other's blind spots it's gonna be really fun uh, and oh. she's freezing a little so you have to dance Whenever video Drew freezes, you dance. I mean, that's just the rule coming from being on the video chronic quizzes before. Stuff, so. My turtle Wi Fi. Hi. There it is. So, <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Yes. So, yeah, no. So, so Tuesday at 8 p.m., we're going to be doing um, Mulan with Wendy. So, that's going to be really fun. And I think that's it. you can also find me at patreon.com backslash video Drew. Yep. So, that's where you can uh, find my most recent schedule. And I believe I have most all of those links are down below in our, yeah, I got the YouTube, Twitch, and Patreon. All your links uh, for her are down below in the description of this video. So uh, hey, click on those. Yeah. So click on those. Uh, doesn't look like we have any more questions, so we'll go ahead and wrap this up. Uh, you can follow us at Cinefanatics MLP on Twitter and Instagram. There's also Robert Adams MLP, Chris Adams MLP. Same thing, Twitter, Instagram. Make sure you follow us over there. Uh, hop on our Patreon, patreon.com slash Cinefanatics. Uh, choose the tier that you would like to hop follow on that. $10 tier gets you the movie watch along. I know uh, this month we will be doing uh, Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure, and we will also be doing Inception. So that is going to be happening. Make sure you follow and join for all of the fun there. Uh, also, there is Tuesday all night. All of the fun there. All, all of the funds there. Uh, the fun. Tuesday, 
Tuesday nights, we also have the tagline, which is the show where we talk about movies and stuff. Uh, while we're doing the Schmodown replay this four nights a week, uh, tagline is at 9 p.m. Central Time. So uh, make sure you check that out. It's kind of weird that we promote that, and it's roughly at the same time as Cinema Bias. So. Hey, pick your show. Pick There's your show. two shows out of this one show you could go watch. <laughs> um, you can watch us on repeat. That's fine. <laughs> either one. Yeah. I don't. I don't mind people coming back and watching our show on repeat at all. So yeah, you don't need to watch it live. Go do your thing. Yeah, uh, just whatever floats your Brad Gilmore. Your Brad Gilmore. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, come, come check that out. Um, yeah, I think that's it. I don't think there's anything else really to plug. Uh, and Andres says he loves the Cine Fanatics. Well, we love Andres too. So Andrew. 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 Oh, waiting for the Batman and Robin watch along. We need to do that because that would be fun. That's in the pipe. Yeah. The, in the pipeline. Frozen pipe. Yeah. Anyways, that's going to do it for tonight. Uh, all of y'all in the chat, thank you for watching. Thank you for chatting. Thank you for participating in this. Uh, as for my brother, as for myself, as for Video Drew, thank y'all for watching this. Uh, big shout out to Video Drew for being a part of it. Y'all all have a great evening. Have a great night. We will see y'all later. See ya.